Spotify suspends the premium in Russia and forecasts 1.5 million lost subscribers. Talk to us about this. Uh, you could kind of see it coming. The writing was on the wall with the whole Russia-Ukraine situation. You know, still just pray for everybody affected over there. Um, in terms of like the, the music aspect of it for people not in those direct regions, just people people were financial companies were shutting down their operations in Russia or even access to uh, financial operations in Russia. So it's kind of like this trickle effect. The people making more money than mm-hmm. Spotify um, or you know other music companies shut down from there. So it's just it was just gonna happen. Um, it's an ugly situation yeah. to put it bluntly. It's not not a good situation going on, uh, no matter what the impetus or reason for um, for the invasion, whether it was provoked, unprovoked, all this stuff. It's just not not a good situation. So, uh, one point five million. What does this mean for Spotify? I don't see it as the hugest hit ever. It's not fun. Like it's not a not a good. Um, forecast for your business but unless you're unless you own some spotify stock probably not gonna notice it too too much or unless your music was like very popular in uh russia probably not gonna notice it too too much like if russia was 50 percent of your your fan base or your your audience then yeah like you got some scrambling to do right now um because you're going to have to make up the subscribers and listeners somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the the best place usually um, to get promotion. Well, we can do a promotion breakdown for people of where you should be like putting your marketing money. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we do Spotify playlisting. We do YouTube promotion. We do um, Facebook and Instagram ads. And the reason why you want to space them out is... Even in times like this, you know, crisis like these, um, you still have to pay bills. Right. You still have to, if, especially if you have a family, you definitely have to still feed your kids. Like you, you can't stop your responsibilities even when bad stuff is going on somewhere else. Right. Uh, so the reason why you want to diversify your marketing spend uh, and definitely have a website where, or and an email list or a text list or something that. If any of these platforms go down or they ban your account for literally no reason at all, like that still happens too. Um, there's obviously a reason for why some companies are deciding to pull out of Russia. Um, but let's not forget, it wasn't all that long ago, and it still probably happens today where people's accounts just get shut down on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter um, for reasons that are not very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... That's why you need to have a diverse marketing spend. And most of your traffic should be going to places that you have more of a control over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So your email list is something that you can still send the emails to people, even if your email subscriber like boots you off. You can go find somebody who will host you. This is kind of what happened with that social media app parlor. Mm -hmm. Like whether you agree with it or disagree with it, it was a coordinated attack on a social media app that if they actually carried out that same measure, mm-hmm. Facebook would have been shut down too. 100%. Uh, so when you're you're too leveraged, like Parler was leveraged because you had to have the app on pretty much Apple Store or Google Store. Mm-hmm. Like that's where everybody downloads apps. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if they both just coordinate and attack on you, like your business is pretty much flatlined. Mm -hmm. Uh, So an alternative solution would be to, from the get go, host yourself with a hosting provider uh, or decentralized hosting provider that will not shut your stuff down Mm -hmm. despite, you know, any other efforts. So if people could still access the the website, then that would have been a different story. Now to take that to another level and, People, one thing, because when I say the next thing, people 
somehow try to think that this is a conspiracy, but it's just like, yo, they, they literally just did this. Like, why would you think this is a conspiracy? Right. Uh, phone companies would be next of cutting off, like trying to cut off access to certain sites. Or internet providers would right. be next and trying to cut off access to certain sites. Uh, so you have to always think of a way. Like, it is it is a doomsday scenario, mm-hmm. but I would personally, I'd rather have that plan mm-hmm. in, in place and... You know, people who do not run your business try to say something like, oh, you know, conspiracy theory and all this other stuff. Well, when it actually happens, mm-hmm. you at least you at least have something. Right. You won't have your whole business. Right. Right. If they take you off the app store, you're not going to have your whole business. So right. that's too many people filtering through f- too few app stores, to be honest with you. We mm-hmm. should have more competition in that area uh, and more importantly, more diverse competition. When I say diverse, I actually mean diversity of thought. Yeah. Not just, hey, I have 10 different ethnicities and all these different companies, but everybody thinks the same. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not diversity. That's just you guys look a little different. Right. Um, so that's, that's how I tell people to prep for entrepreneurs, small business owners, artists. I would tell everybody to prep the same way. You need as much control over the your bottom line as you can get yes because we saw even in the past year with a lot of the facebook and instagram ads effectiveness going down that hurt a lot of businesses if you were bringing in 90 percent of your revenue from facebook and instagram ads and apple tries to come at facebook Mm -hmm. and say that you guys can't really track people anymore um Sounds kind of nice on the surface. Yeah, it has some pros, but for the cons, it had huge cons. There's a lot of people working at a lot of small businesses yep. that now have a lot less money because of the ads. Yep. Um, so think through everything. Just if This is a grand scope of things. Don't worry about what other people say. Think through the entire process of how you can protect your business, your career, your artist's career. Uh, so that when something does happen, um, you know, you, you can have 10 different streams of revenue. If they cut off five, Hey, at least you still got five. That's right. That's good.